Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Sonic Love. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Raspberry Pi 4 Starter Kit Model B. See what we're going to get inside. This will be the first video of my Arcade 1UP modding. So I'm going to be putting this Raspberry Pi 4 into the Arcade 1UP, changing out the buttons. Obviously, a few other parts will be coming. I'll do them all individually and then do the build tomorrow. I will showcase the build also of its stock and then obviously moving forward, I will do maybe three to four videos in total of start to finish, what I used, what I needed to set up the arcade one up. Lots of enjoyment of hours upon hours upon hours of fantastic retro goodness and arcade goodness on the arcade one up. So let's break that seal. No retro dodo pun intended. Okay, so what are we gonna get? All right, so inside you can see it's pretty jam packed. I don't know if you, a few of you guys mentioned in the community post that you absolutely love the Pi 4. You bought, somebody bought two of them. One uses one as a media service, one uses one as a gaming station. So on the far right, we have a micro SB to HDMI cable, which is quite nice. We also get a clicky on switch and an SD card. Is that an SD card? I don't know if it's an SD card, but it might be an SD card reader. Well, we'll have to look into that. So that's another wonderful cable we get the raspberry pi 4 computer module b 4 gig of ram i was going to get the ace but i thought it's not really worth it really because i know that it doesn't really make a difference in emulation performance and i thought four will be just enough and if needs be i can always put hundreds of thousands of games on a solid state drive and just put it into the usb a couple of terabyte it looks like we get a Raspberry 4, uh, Pi 4 case fan. Obviously, if you want to do a bit of overclocking, but I don't think that will be needed really for the purposes of what I'm going to be using it for. It actually comes with a nice Raspberry Pi case. Now, there was two variants. There was a white and red and the black version. Uh, I went with the black version. So we have all those. Up there. Let's get those cables. Is this the power cable? Yes, and you also get a power supply. So let's have a little look at each individual part. There's a lot more inside than what I was expecting, to be honest. The total amount uh, of cost for a Raspberry Pi 4 gig is £89 from Amazon. There was the 8 gig, and that took the price up to £109, I think. So let's have a little look at the old power supply. So it's a 5.1 V, so yeah, standard. It's nice with it being a starter kit, it's nice that you've just got everything that is actually officially from Raspberry Pi, which is always nice if you like that sort of thing. And it is USB type C. Really need to see what the cables are. So let's have a little look at the box itself. Yeah, I'd love to know, guys, if you actually got a starter kit yourself or did you buy everything separate? You know, what type of uh, box have you bought separately? I know that uh, ETA Prime does lots of videos on different housings for it. But yeah, it's like a dark grey at the bottom, uh, a dark black at the bottom, and like a dark grey on the top, which is quite nice. Actually comes with some, looks like some rubber feet from underneath as well, where the holes are. Which is pretty nice. It's a nice size. I just like how compact it is really, more than anything. Yeah, so that's quite nice. I really like it. Lovely job, lovely job. Let's take a look at the fan. So I'm really excited for modding the Arcade 1UP. The Arcade 1UP comes tomorrow, guys. So I will be doing the second part of the video tomorrow. 
I'll be doing an unboxing and then I'll do a, a video on building it up. This looks like a heat sink. I don't want to take that off just now, but that's a heat sink there. And then we have a case fan. Again, because it's the official kit, it comes with a nice little logo of the Raspberry Pi. Connectors, and obviously we have a fan. Not too sure, never really had the starter kit one before. I've always bought separate, so uh, it'd be interesting to see if this noisy, but I don't think it will really. I might down the line uh, buy a separate fan and casing for it if needs be. I will be doing plenty of more arcade modding, so we'll see as time goes on. So the Raspberry Pi 4 computer module B, or model B should I say, and it is four gig of RAM. And it looks like I wasn't supposed to open it this end, but I don't care. It says open from the bottom. Lovely. Okay. So it comes with a nice open leaflet manual. Raspberry Pi 4, Model B, safety and user guide. I think we have a quick card to show what needs to be done. Obviously you've got to give it the old Superman eyes with a laser. Um, yeah, okay, pretty straightforward, standard stuff. If you're ever unsure how to do things, ETA Prime has done so many videos in abundance on these little single board computers. So let's go in. I tell you what, they're, they're so small, aren't they? It's an amazing what you, feat what you can do with them as well. I really can't wait to mod and have my arcade one up. Did everyone see all the new versions of 20? 21 models of arcade one-ups absolutely incredible i think the one that i will definitely be picking up is the killer instinct one and the konomi uh, konomi collection version as well with pacland on it oh beautiful and i think there's a, a space ace and daphne version as well which is pretty cool yes yeah, so all in all this is the beginning and the beginning process of the Raspberry Pi 4 in modding my arcade one up. Can't wait to do another video on tomorrow. Any questions you want to ask about this unit, guys, or you know, if you want to know where I got it from, just let me know in the comments. So, what I'm going to actually do, guys, is I'm going to set it all up uh, on, on here just so it's all ready for tomorrow. Obviously, I'll do the OS off screen. I'm going to be using Botticera, but I've also downloaded arcade punks as well so i've done a 200 gigabyte just for starters just to to start and kick off the mod with it so obviously it in this version it come with a beautiful little fan which is really easy and straightforward it just clicks right the way in i don't know if you can see but it has two like groovy slots both sides and then on the left and right hand side you will see grooves also it can be a bit fiddly it feels like it's going to snap but trust me it's not you just literally slide them in place and it should just clip in as i say it's a bit fiddly to get in because there we go and as you can see it fits right in and obviously it extracts the air into and then obviously it's directly pointing on an angle uh, to blow air onto your raspberry pi okay so it's pretty safe for uh, straightforward you've got all the components that you need all the holes are all cut out it's really really nice it doesn't come with any screws but it's pretty secure anyway and i think once you put the lid on i don't think it's going to move anywhere really so yeah, if they didn't include screw, uh, screws, then obviously you don't need it. There is a slot at the bottom for your SD card also. 
So yeah, I just think it's really, really nice. There is a heat sink, so we're gonna take the heat sink out and peel it. Doo -doo -doo. It does come with some sticky, sticky thermal pad. So we're gonna unpeel that. And we're gonna place it right on top. And that'll make sure that the heat distribution is pretty good. Just give it a little press to make sure it's definitely secure on there. Move left and right. Don't press too hard though, but yeah, that is the beginning of the setup. Obviously now, what we need to do is literally attach the fan to the second bottom right pins, and there's three connectors, two double connector and one single connector. So what I'll do is I'll do a close up guys, and so you guys will know which one it is, but just remember, I think it's red, black and blue so when you get them connected if you can see we're gonna go with red black and blue If you can see that guys red black and blue and as i say it's the bottom right and it starts the red one a red and black start on the second pin in hopefully you can see that can you guys see that job is a good one all we need to do now is clip it into place which is straightforward. Make sure that you tuck the wires in just a little bit, just so they don't catch on anything. I don't know if you can see that, but they kind of bend. So we need to make sure that we fold it. The two little clasps at the very, very bottom. And as we bring it down, as I say, make sure that those wires are out the way. And it simply is just a case of clipping it shut. If I give it a shake, nothing moves. As I say, I knew that once the fan was in place and then this lid was secure, that it wouldn't rattle around. It did come with some feet. I put some little sticky pad feet on there. But all in all, guys, this is fantastic. You've got your indicating power light as well. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack two HDMIs, power, and your usual suspects here. So all in all, uh, I'm really, really impressed. It did come with a 32 gig SD card. It'll probably have some type of operating system on there to start you off, but obviously I will be using it to put in RetroPie and also uh, Arcade Punks. But this is the start of the build for the arcade one up, which arrives tomorrow, guys. As I say, if you're interested in watching me build this, uh, then please, and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell notification uh, so you don't miss out on videos. It will be step by step building it from start to finish. Obviously, I'll be going through the buttons uh, and obviously the module for the converter, the TV converter, HDMI converter for the screen. And then obviously the installation, setting up Botticera, setting up Raspberry uh, Retro Pi and also Arcade Punk. And I'll be choosing which one I feel is the best running and performance wise. And then that will be the one I'll go with inside the Arcade One Up. Really excited guys, hope you are. If you haven't seen the Raspberry Pi, this is what you get with the starter kit. As I say, it starts off at £78, really uh, £79 should I say, 99 Really, really amazing kit. Everything's official. Even the bloody cables have Raspberry Pi on it. I've been really, really impressed. I have the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I have the C a couple of CM3s. But this, yeah, this is really, really nice. Love to know what you think, guys. Are you looking forward to the build tomorrow? 
Are you looking forward to the arcade one up and me setting it up and it's just going to be an absolute nightmare? Uh, I love a bit of DIY, but yeah, let's hope that it goes smoothly and there's no dramas. But as always, guys, thank you very much for the support. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you really are interested in watching me do the modification of the arcade one up, then please, as I say, hit the bell notification so you don't miss the videos as this is the first part. And as always, guys, take care.